Hey guys, Steve Harris here. Let's check out a new widget available on MuseThemes.com. We actually featured this widget in our Manhattan template. So if I pull up the Manhattan site here, you can see that when we scroll down the page, if you pay attention to the logo in the top left corner, it actually scales down to about half the size or even less as we scroll down the page. So this widget is called our Scale Scroll widget, and that's exactly what it allows you to do. Scale an image as a user scrolls down. So it's really simple to set up. Let's jump into Muse and I'll show you how to do it. If we go into our library panel and drag out the scale scroll widget onto the page, you'll see that we get a very simple preview here that just shows the icon and we have a fairly small panel, so it's quite easy to use. Now the first thing we'll need to do is select a logo that you're going to use. So I have a logo here, it's just logo.png, it's a Muse Themes logo. Let's go ahead and click File, Add Files for Upload and let's select that logo file. Okay, so now that we've done that and the file is in our assets panel, let's go ahead and work through the options on this widget. So first we have a unique ID. This would just be applied if you are planning on using multiple widgets on a single page. So for now, we'll just leave that at the default. Now let's set our image file name. That's logo.png. Okay, so now one thing to note is the initial size of that logo. My logo was 500 pixels wide by 176 pixels tall. So in this case, let's set the initial height at 176 pixels. And the other thing we need to do, and you'll see a little hint on here, it says always ensure your bounding box is as big as the largest instance. In my case, the largest instance is 176 pixels high by 500 wide. So let's just make sure using the transform panel here that our bounding box is about the same height. Now, of course, this is a big logo file, so you're likely not going to have a logo this big on your site, but for example purposes, this works well. Okay, so now that we have that set, that's the initial height. Now let's set the height after we scroll. So in this case, 15 pixels might be a little bit small, but let's set this to only 30 pixels high. So it's going to shrink quite a bit. Now we have transition begins after number of pixels scrolled. So if we wanted to essentially begin the second we start scrolling down the page, let's just leave this set at one. And then we have transition duration. So the duration is going to control how long it takes for this image to scale down. If you set it to something like 10, it would scale very, very quickly. But let's leave that set at 500 and see how it looks. The last thing we have is to transform origin. So right now we have top left, we could set this to center top or top right. Basically what that means is if this big logo was taking up this full box, when we scale down, is it going to scale up to the left or is it gonna scale up to the right or maybe to the center? So let's have it scale to the top left and let's leave these settings in and see how it looks. So as you can see when I preview in the browser, I have this logo and it's quite big, but the problem here is that I didn't add a long enough page to be able to scroll. So let's go back into Muse and let's just drag this footer down and let me get some scroll room here and let's preview that again. Okay, so now as I scroll down, you can see that that logo was drastically shrinking. Now it almost shrinks too small. I can't really see it at that size, but let me go ahead and adjust that. So let's change the height after transition to say maybe something like 70. And let's actually change the transform origin to right top, just so we can see how that looks. Now when I preview in the browser and I scroll down, you can see that it's actually scaling and it's going to the top right. So again, this is really useful if you are creating a site like our Manhattan template, which actually has a logo pinned in the top. So this is a great example of where to use this widget. Let's just change this a little bit. So let's have the image set at 120 as the initial height and scale down to 50. And then what you could do is actually pin this to the top left. It's actually pinned by default. And if we had a nav bar behind it, then as I scroll down the page, the image would stay and it would stay pinned to the top. Now, of course, that looks a little weird with it still going to the top right. So let's go back to the top left and preview it again. And there you go. Now you can see as I scroll down, it's staying nicely pinned to that top left side. So again, a great example of where this is, is if we go to the Manhattan page or the Manhattan template on Muse Themes, and I just preview the desktop version here. 
you'll see that when we scroll down, that logo does shrink. So it's a great widget and it's super simple to set up. Let us know if you have any questions or concerns and thanks again. Cheers.